put the lights in in 2017. I think we were one of the very first, if not the first, uh, to do so. The performance of the lighting has been spectacular. You know, I'm really glad we did what we did when we did it in lieu of where the game is going and where sports is going overall, whether it's in the a professional stadium or whether it's in an arena or a racetrack or whatever it may be, LED lighting is, is what everybody ought to be doing right now. The reliability of the lights has been its extremely impressive for uh, just myself and our other front office staff. You know, we, we really haven't had many issues at all over those that five year period since they've been installed. Uh, when we have had a, a certain outage, Musco has always been quick to uh, answer the phone and get someone up here uh, really quickly and work on it efficiently. And you can tell they're sort of proactively uh, monitoring our ballpark in our situation. Uh, and if they see something that might be out, then they'll give us a call uh, and say, hey, uh, uh, you know, when's your guys' next game, uh, or when do we need to, or when can we get someone up there? The entertainment aspect of the lights is really a nice feature to have. I mean, we're having a lot of fun with it, and our fans like it. In fact, uh, we, we always get a reaction. As long as we've had them already, we always get a great reaction on whether we hit a home run or when we win the game. Having the new show lights has been just uh, one tremendous for just the lighting atmosphere of the stadium in general. The sort of best reaction that I always love to see is when our guy hits a home run. You get that initial cheer for the home run, and then I hit the lights upstairs, and then it's another cheer after that. Those lights start going. The great part of the lights on the poles are, are we're part of the downtown nightscape now. Lighting is everything to it, and when we see pictures of the ballpark with the red and blue on the poles and we see pictures of that with this with the downtown lighting and, and how the nightscape fills it's really great to be a part of that it, other than just being a ballpark that doesn't have anything going on and the security lighting is on it's really really fun to have that when they were first installed, I remember minor league baseball coming in and doing, you know, lighting tests and, and Musco doing lighting tests, making sure that uh, they met those minor league baseball requirements. Uh, and the fact that uh, there's that warranty there that we know Musco is going to be on top of the lighting standards for us moving forward pulls a lot of weight off of our shoulders, uh, having to worry about making sure we're always up to date because we know that uh, between us and minor league baseball and Musco, that we'll always be up to those standards that they set. Well, putting them in when we did made us compliant way early, you know, way before we had any inclination there was going to be any change between minor league baseball and major league baseball. We knew new standards were going to come, uh, as they should, and there will be new standards again uh, somewhere along the way. But I feel confident that we're, where we're at will be in compliance for a good long time. Well, two things. First of all, uh, the quality of the product, um, you, you know, look, look first and foremost for that, and then second of all, the quality of the, of the company that, that built the product. And, and uh, you know, it's easy for me to say that, that uh, if you're not looking at Musco Lighting, who is, in my opinion, the leader of, of all things lighting in sport venues or otherwise, uh, you're just missing the boat. You're not getting the best that you can get. And, and uh, we've certainly been uh, more than pleased with what we've, what we've done with, with the lighting that we've done here.